Hello everyone. So, Brexit, a week later. The world is still here. Uh, there hasn't been an economic collapse. Uh, trading still proceeds apace. Nothing has changed. Uh, sure, the referendum went 52% leave, 48% remain. But until the Prime Minister or Parliament acts on it, nothing changes. Article 50 has to be invoked to start the process. But it hasn't been yet. That means absolutely nothing has changed. Now, here's the thing. The referendum itself is technically not binding. That means that there could be some political wrangling in the UK that ultimately leads to Article 50 not being invoked. And that would mean the Brexit wouldn't happen. So until that settles, we still don't actually technically have a Brexit. Now, there's been some instability in the markets and so on since the, uh, since the vote and the results coming in. The British pound took a beating. Uh, and that affected currency markets around the world. Uh, stock indices uh, dropped, uh, things like that. And that was the expected overreaction from both sides. The difference being that the Remain side was insisting that this would be instant and catastrophic and irrecoverable. Yet, in the past few days, indices have rebounded. Some of that's probably bargain hunting, but it's rebounded quite a lot. I haven't checked on the pound. That may still be in the, in the uh, tank, but uh, most of the rest of the world is continuing apace. Like, seriously, why would instability in Britain affect whether uh, the people in the United States want to buy something from Canada, like seriously. So uh, you, you have that. And there's been a lot of calmer heads and commentary uh, that has observed that it's unlikely anyone's going to throw up trade embargoes or anything like that. And certainly nothing is going to happen until Article 50 is actually invoked. And the bigger players are going to take a wait and see. And they might be setting up plans for if the Brexit really does happen, but they're not going to actually do anything until it is clear that they have to. It's expensive to do something. So taking an, a, an action that's not necessary, overreacting and doing it early, is not beneficial. So they're not going to do that. And because the, most of these guys are not taking these big, catastrophic, instant actions, everybody else is starting to calm down. Now, it's entirely possible that the British Parliament or the, prime, the next Prime Minister, because uh, you know, this pretty much put paid to uh, the current guy, um, they may come to a conclusion that they shouldn't invoke Article 50. And if that happens, there won't be a Brexit at all. And it's going to be a while before we know that. That said, there is instability in the United Kingdom as a result. In the vote, Northern Ireland and Scotland voted fairly authoritatively for Remain. But Wales and England voted fairly authoritatively for leave. And that means you've got a split right down the middle of the, of the United Kingdom. And there's current rumblings that there will probably be another Scottish independence referendum. And that may have a very different result than the previous one. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if it does happen. We'll see what happens. Is this Brexit vote may not lead to the United Kingdom exiting the European Union. It may lead to the United Kingdom dissolving. 
and then different constituent parts of the United Kingdom exiting or remaining as they choose. I don't know that that's going to happen. It's impossible to say. Uh, beforehand, it was fairly likely that a Remain vote was going to happen, and then we wouldn't be having this chaos. Then again, the difference in who voted for what might still have existed, just with the numbers shifted slightly, and we may still have this divide. And it's a divide that doesn't actually surprise anybody when you really get down to it. So we'll see what happens. Now, if, if Article 50 is actually triggered, when it's triggered, yes, there will be some chaos and we'll see what happens as a result. But again, I don't think it's going to be total world chaos. Uh, there's always something coming that causes some instability somewhere. Always. Uh, it could be a wildfire at Fort McMurray, or it could be a referendum in the United Kingdom. There's always something that affects markets. So we'll see what happens. For, for my part, uh, I don't actually think we're going to see any, any big chaos. There'll be plenty of time for the majority of uh, people to adjust to whatever's going to happen. And really, uh, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll deal with it. That's what the world does. It's not going to be the end of the world. We'll come up with some way to deal with it. And in the meantime, well, it seems like a good time to dig out the popcorn and watch the, the uh, histrionics and theatrics and overreactions that uh, come to every little step of the way that's to come. So there you go. We've got a popcorn-worthy event going on. But it's not going to substantially, uh, detrimentally impact the world. And I'm going on record publicly saying that. So if there is a detrimental impact, this video will be right there saying I was wrong. But I really don't think I am. There's been a much more chaotic stuff happen over the years, and the world has come through it just fine. So there you have it. That's my uh, Brexit uh, redux. Uh, and uh, I... Well, there really isn't much more to say about it at this point in time until something actually happens. Anyway, if you want to be notified of future videos, make sure to subscribe. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.